All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch and also on YouTube for our second time that we are going to try this competitive metagame challenge. Didn't do so well with Mardu Control, uh, so let's switch it up. Let's try a different deck. Let's try Bant Midrange. Um, Bant's the color combination uh, here that's blue, white, and green, for those of you that didn't know. Um, but also it's the color combination that I feel has a really good, uh, that has a, a ton of potential in Standard. Um, we've seen some different Bant decks do pretty good uh, in the format uh, with like 5-0 lists and, and everything like where they're playing a little more instant speed. Um, and uh, I kind of have some parts of, of that kind of stuff here in this deck with cards like, you know, our instance like Grow Spiral, Frilled Mystic, Settle, Angel of Grace. Um, but I also have a decent amount of ramp here. So I'm, I really want to just kind of play these planeswalkers you know like these planeswalkers are really good cards and i want to play them early so we're going to have 12 acceleration spells I'm still going with growth spiral here uh over um maybe like uh druid of the cowl uh they could block a little better because it's something i can do at instant speed with like extra mana for teferi but yeah we're just trying to ramp get our planeswalkers get more mana play like crisis for big a big crisis the bi the only change I'm playing since the last time I played this deck is I'm going to try Deputy Det Detention. It's a card that I have certainly scoffed at quite a bit and have rated poorly. Um, and I'm trying it over Jade Light Ranger, which is a card I love. So it shows you how you know I'm, I'm willing to, to try different things. But Deputy is really good against the current uh, deck list of Sultai Midrange, which is like the, the most uh, popular deck these days because of its ability to exile Krasis. Um, and also uh, Exile, Wild Growth Walker. Those are two really good hits for Deputy det Detention. So I'll try it out. Um, but yeah, there we go. So let's see how Bant Midrange does. Competitive metagame challenge. So one loss and we're out. So we got to... We got to Put a little bit more wins together than the Mardu Control. Even though we had some awesome games with Mardu Control, we only went 1-3. No, no Absorb. I didn't really want a 3-mana counter spell in the deck. Um, even though I have a 4-mana counter spell with the Frilled Mystic. I'm going to keep this. Because I played the event multiple times, Izzo. So we, we entered the event three times. So we went 0-1, 0-1, and then 1-1. One, one. Rustwing Falcon. Yeah, it's a constructed event. We're playing uh, best two out of three. Um... Hmm. So we don't have white mana yet. Incubation Druid can only add white mana whenever you have white mana on the battlefield. But still, we're looking at like a crisis for four next turn. Which is pretty good. The Settle the Wreckage should be awesome against our opponent's creatures. So I can either go Krasis for four, or I can take a turn off and activate Incubation Druid and Krasis for more the following turn. I'm just going to go Krasis for four. Hmm. Well, still no white mana, but we did. we are chaining Krasi. All right, let's take a turn off. I think we're doing just fine. Opponent's not doing a whole lot. Four, five, six, seven, eight.
No, I'm not like I'm not too interested in the best of three ranked stuff. I'll probably play it sometimes, but not today. Maybe I'll play it at some point. No, I'm honestly not sure if I put white mana in the deck uh, right about now. It doesn't really feel like I did. According to the deck list, there are three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. Fourteen white sources? I don't really see that being fifteen. I think our only double white is the settle, but we have the incubation druids also. Citywide bust. That's. It's kind of bad. I really don't want them to flip Legion's Landing. Is that really that big a deal, though? They flip Legion's Landing? To, like, play Vivian minus... That's fine. I think sometimes restoration means retribution. Right now, they only have one power uh, they can get through. Uh-oh. So they're a two-color deck. That explains a lot. Also saying, uh-oh, because, like, heroic reinforcements. All right, that's not so... I don't need to worry about that one too much. I've seen squirrels hit harder. All right. You gotta find a white source by now, right? Finally. All right, we're good. We good now. So I even have like settle available. So of course I could counter that with frilled mystic, but I'll just save my frilled mystic. They didn't even attack. You could have just killed Vivian. Opponent, what are you doing? Meet my newest friend. Now the incubation druids add a whole lot of mana. Trust no time for a break. Oh, right, I'm untapping two lands. I could have just played that land werewolf. I like Ravager Worm as a card. I like, um, I like it existing and stuff. Um, it is pretty expensive, of course. <laughs> Watch out for Bogart Brood. I almost lost to that card in Origins Limited once. That card was nice in Origins Limited. Origins Limited was a, a fun format. I mean, Origins just the set was awesome. I guess the limited format was was kind of just super fast. It was just no one knows the wilds like it was two drop the format. Maybe I should start winning the game here soon. You know what? I'm not done yet. <laughs> Winning this game instead of getting value? What? 
Yeah, I feel like we should probably end the game. Go on to the next one. Not really expecting to see this kind of deck in the 2000 gold enter entry metagame challenge thing. But that's all right. All right, so if we're bringing in Dawnbringers, gotta cut Vivian, I suppose. And uh, probably want some seal aways. I mean, should I be playing Knight of Autumns? Really see any enchantments. It's a really nice looking hand. And our opponent said we can go first. That's nice of them. Hopefully we don't you know waste our good hands here. I'm just gonna pass. They're passing back. They got that reliquary tower so they can keep eight cards in hand. Just want to get use out of that. Alright, so we're just attacking for 10. And then we have Frilled Mystic available to counter whatever they play. And then we attack them for 10 again. Well, we got the first one. Which that, that one wins a lot of gold. It's only 500 gold. So the next win is I got 500 gold in one pack, and then 500 gold in two packs, and then 500 gold in two packs, 500 gold in five packs, a thousand in ten packs, and then a thousand in ten packs. Claris, someone with Twitch Prime. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, if we can if we can do good in one of these things, we're gonna get a whole lot of packs. We went five one earlier with Band Nexus. Awesome. The buy-in is two thousand gold. So uh, to get your gold back, you need to go three zero. But if you think about like the packs, one pack is a thousand gold. Um, 
So if we win this one, we're at two wins, and two wins gets us 1,500 gold and one pack. So basically, we'd be buying a pack for, for half off. We're only 500 gold instead of 1,000. Hmm. Keep a slow hand. And we're playing against Mono Red. Yet to be very win streaky. Yeah. Mardu Control cost us a lot of gold earlier. <laughs> wow, Void Rose. That hurts. Boy, Rose says it sucked to just buy in and lose all the games. It's like, yeah, that, that's what we did earlier. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have been skewered. Yeah, I like the, I like the Chandra, Avatar. Go with the red deck. How do they have only three cards left? Do they do they mulligan? So three, six, seven, eight, nine. They've had nine total cards. No, I guess I guess that's that's it. Oh come on, we still didn't draw anything. That's pretty bad. Bad drawing for us. Hmm. You know you can just attack opponent. I would like to counter that spell, please. So Vivian or Teferi? I feel like I want... Oh, actually, that's not bad. That's not bad. Guess I'll just frilled Mystic. So I want Vivian to find Shalai or Angel of Grace. Shalai and Angel of Grace are just are very valuable. Why I've seen things that would break someone like you. That thing says gain life on it. I'll take it. No attacks if they draw a haste creature. Wanna be able to block. That three damage doesn't matter on our side. Opponent is flooded out. You can't stop nature. And there we go. Shall I shall I finishes it out? Nagate, Night of Autumn, Lyra, Seal Away. Um, maybe no deputy of detention here. I, I kind of feel like I want to keep the one Vivian in to be able to find these angels. Like we just did there that last game. I could certainly see taking it out though. Wait, Deputy is good? Because it eats a burn spell? It's just like three mana trade with a burn spell? I mean, like, what if they don't have creatures? But they're just trying to kill me with a bunch of burn spells. The event will last two or three days. I'm off it. All right, I'll, I won't play the Vivian. Let me get this growth spiral back in.
It is good against Steamkin. It is pretty good there. We are playing Bant Midrange right now. If you want to see the deck list, it is right there. It's called Bant Midrange. No problem. Okay. Hand is fine, I suppose. It's not what we really want. What we really, really want. Marty Control, we lost to Mono Blue, which I think is a tough matchup. We lost to a Bant uh, flash deck with a lot of counter spells, which I also think was a bad matchup. And we defeated, or sorry, and then, then we also lost like a blue green deck that I, I made a couple misplays and it was my fault. And then we defeated uh, Gates. War boss. War boss is tough. If they have an answer to our Lyra, I can do a whole lot of damage. The good part about war boss is it does make tokens that have to attack into Lyra. Wow, they're very creature heavy. I did not expect them to be so creature heavy. Certainly wish I had deputy attention instead of negate right about now. Alright, so I'm going with Angel of Grace first. So at next turn I can have Dawnbringer plus negate back up. The growth spirals have been pretty nice, speeding us up a whole lot. So no, to, I'm not. I'm, to, today is not a, a short stream. I'm still doing normal time. I'm just playing like these events that I think are going to be a little longer. Uh, yeah, I'm not planning on today being a shorter stream. So I did not I did not kill the war boss cuz I wanted them to have to attack into the Lyra. But I'm not sure if it's going to matter honestly. Yeah, I think I guess I guess I should have just blocked the war boss. All right. 
All right, we got to redo our sideboarding plan. They have a lot of creatures and good creatures. Let's get these deputies back in. Maybe I don't want Frilled Mystic. Do I want Settle? Hmm. All right, what if we play this? I think two settles. I do like binding against... Um, do you like binding against Phoenix? Settle's good against Phoenix, too. Binding's too slow. I mean, they're they're playing Rekindling Phoenix. Like that's that's certainly the card I want to. Like I'd rather have Binding there than Settle. I don't think they'll have as many creatures if we're like deputing their creatures and stuff like that. If we play one one and one negate, we have one of each. A Binding, a Settle, and a negate. I don't really expect us to get run over by creatures two games in a row, so I'm not really expecting the need for settle to happen yet again. Because I kind of feel like war boss is like their one way to be able to do that. Alright, starting with Glacial Fortress, because that will come into play tapped later if we don't. Alright, that's not so bad for us. Hmm. Kinda wanna just growth spiral. Wish we had another blue source where I could spiral spiral. For sure. If I deputy the Lava Runner and they just kill the deputy... Wow, they have Chain Whirler too? Certainly did not play around Chain Whirler at all. Yeah, against Chain Ruler, which would have had all the bindings and settles possible. This is just going horrible for me. Our opponent just has everything against everything I'm trying to do. Every turn.
All right, we need Lyra or Shalai. I mean, something like that. I, I wouldn't mind a land drop just to make a crisis for four. Even. Well, I'm not... Not shocking to make a crisis for four. Not in the books yet, but it doesn't look good for us. Looks a little better for us now. They gotta be out of fight, fight with fires, right? I've already used two. Well, draw your three. Still doesn't look great for us with them having double risk factor five cards. Yep. Wow. It's like every single decision I made just ended up being just so wrong. Huh. Like every like sideboarding decision, everything just ended up really backfiring. All right, so we went one one the first time. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, like I I guess I was just thinking their deck was just so much more burn spell heavy, and then they just ended up having all these creatures that I wasn't really prepared for, and then suddenly all these fight with fires. This is a keep. We don't have our blue mana yet to turn on the Krasis or the Mystic, but we're still keeping. All right, Watery Grave. What's your favorite deck of this set? I don't really have a favorite deck right now. Druid does not make blue mana. Add one mana of any type that a land you control could produce. You need to have a land that could produce blue mana for Druid to produce blue mana. So we can't produce blue mana yet. So it certainly looks like the Esper mid-range deck with having a Lyra Dawnbringer. It could be just Esper control with Lyra though. But it certainly looks like Esper mid-range. How do you feel about Demir control in this metagame? Don't like it one bit. I don't think you can really play the color combination that can't deal with enchantments. I think it's pretty tough for Demir or Grixis uh, in this metagame that has no answers to enchantments at all. You know, I'm not counting Dispersal as an answer to enchantments. I play Control sometimes. Void Rose, look at the deck right above this. Mardu Control. We just played a Control deck. So yeah, I play Control sometimes. So I have five mana right now. 
Oh, I can't even cast Krasos yet. I'm just activating Incubation Druid. It's the only thing I can do. No, we had a lot of really good games and everything. We had, we played over two hours with Mardu Control, and you know went one three. So a lot of really good close games, but just didn't end up on the winning side. We had a couple bad matchups, um, and yeah, just didn't go our way. All right, so both settles are gone. One blue source. I think my favorite angel deck from yesterday was Esper Angels. See, if we just had a blue source, if we just drew a blue source, we'd be able to have Frilled Mystic available if we just drew a blue source. How this thing goes is up to you. This is nothing. So them double attacking means I get to kill their Vivian. There's a second blue source. There's a third. Right. Not dead yet. They've probably found like a Teferi or another Vivian or something like that. Hmm. By now. Hasn't been my day. Disdainful Stroke good against them? Deputy of Detention is really good against me that our opponent presumably has. I can't really do too much about that card. Binding being my best answer to it. Hmm. I wasn't expecting to get invited to the Invitational. I don't really want to do anything. I put in two bindings over the two settles. 
I don't think that's it. It's not been our day. Well, yeah, well, I just brought in Vivian for, for Thief. We also have the Deputy at Attention. We have a few things. We just ha also just have a whole lot of flyers that can block it. Um, so I don't, I don't think it's like we don't have answers if we don't have Seal Away. Would you say Aristocrats is a good choice for best of one climb? I don't think so, because I think Aristocrats is going to struggle with the aggro decks, especially Mono Red. And I assume you're going to see a whole lot of that with best of one climb. So I, I don't think that Aristocrats would be very good then. Yeah, no problem. Hmm. So with playing the land world elf here, we will be able to play like the Vivian the, the following turn. Again, don't have anything for this deputy at detention, but they're just one threes. It's not like the one three body is that big a deal. It's basically just three mana removal against me. That card's a lot bigger a problem. Every fight makes me stronger. Well, I can at least try exiling Seraph of the Scales. No, Deputy will not trigger the afterlife because it exiles the card, so the card the card doesn't die. So if I exile Seraph with Deputy, I do, they do not get afterlife at all. So it's going to be like that, huh? Balance comes. Zen Streams, welcome back to the channel. Or I guess that's the first time sub, not back, but thank you so much for the sub. And then Rev Daddy is resubbing for the second month in a row. There we go. That gets us to five subs of the day. Thank you all very much. Um Guess I want Angel of Grace. I certainly feel like our opponent has a an instant speed removal spell here. And if I if I play deputy and try to get rid of Seraph, they'll just kill the deputy immediately. So it certainly feels like I'll 
just play the Angel of Grace instead. That either they use the removal spell on Angel of Grace or... Um... Or if Angel and Seraph trade, Deputy can clean up the tokens, which is actually kind of nice. So, like, I would like Angel and Seraph to trade if possible here. But we'll see. They could certainly have, like, an, another Deputy or whatever. Zen Streams, I love the channel. I appreciate the thoughtfulness of play. Well, thank you very much. Glad you're here. All right, so they had a they had a bunch of removal. So Vivian's down, but Vivian did get us a couple cards and kind of caught us back up. You know, like we were <laughs> down I've on cards, and worse. now you know they have three in hand. We have four. You know, we're we're close. Zen streams. Thanks for the bits. Getting that top the. Uh, Taking out that top tier slot. Yeah, is it Drake's can go 6-0 in the metagame challenge? Absolutely. I'm surprised. I'm honestly surprised. This is our, what, 7, 8, 9, 10? Or no, 7. Yeah, this is our 7th. I don't know why I started adding it more. This is our 7th match. I've played against Soltai zero times. Really surprised by that. Alright, we're a little behind this Seraph. But we're not doing too bad. I haven't really seen any Sultai control decks. If you're talking about like the regular Sultai mid-range with like uh, explore creatures and Vivians and all that kind of stuff and Krasis, I think you know the deck's pretty good. Esper control zero times. We gotta discard a card, might as well discard this Frilled Mystic. Alright, so we can Krasis for four. Isn't the biggest Krasis. So I'll just go Deputy and Grow Spiral. Deputy has been good for me so far this game. Been happy with it over Jade Light Ranger. Go ahead, you want to take the Grow Spiral? Uh, they didn't take the Grow Spiral. Yeah, they deputy the deputy. That'd be really bad for me. But then I deputy their deputy back, and I get lots of deputies. All right, they kept the card on top. Can we get another crisis? Uh, I guess I'll have to settle for Vivian. I suppose that'll do. Let's draw and fire. No, that's definitely not game. Like, if our opponent has the removal for these deputies, like, you know, they kept something on top. If they kept, like, some removal for deputies and get Seraphs back, like that. 
So yeah, that's certainly not game. And now we're really far behind. Because now Deputy takes either ours or the Vivian. Yeah, so... Jinx to there. Yeah, no, they... With them keeping the card on top with the Thought Erasure, certainly thought it was going to be something to get rid of Deputy, and that was one of the best cards they could have. Oh, I gotta beat this Seraph of the Scales. I guess I should attack with Frilled Mystic that last turn. Oh, come on. Ugh. Guess I could have played the Angel of Grace out there and, and do a disdainful stroke. Still should attack with Frill Mystic again. Actually, I don't know if this one was a great attack for Frill Mystic there. So I was planning on Vivi Vivian ticking up and, you know, finding, trying to look for another deputy. Um, or Shalai, or Frilled Mystic, or Hydroid Krasis, or anything like that. So that was my plan there with the... Uh, with the Vivian, if it would have resolved. That's probably game. Hey, Mass, nice. Got an early day off for Friday. We've been struggling so far. But. Okay, they got rid of two lands. Maybe they could just get rid of the third land also. Possibly. Okay. Fairy's not bad. Sorry, I'm late. Tuck the deputy. Play get Vivian. Vivian kill Thief of Sanity. So they're getting another deputy pretty quickly after that. Let's take it back. And then they can Either kill Teferi or kill Vivian one feel turn, the and then they can kill the other. Scholar. Like, I, I feel like they just kill Vivian first. Um, and then try to kill Teferi the next turn. Oh, wait, that was my own deputy. Right. I gotta put my own deputy back in. Heck yeah. It's even better. That was my deputy. So yeah, they have to kill Vivian here, because otherwise I'd tick up and find that Vivian. Or sorry, find, uh, find that deputy. Not again. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. We need to move quickly. The fairy card's pretty good. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Teferi saves the day, edition 743. Ah. Incubation druid. Gotta take the druid. All right, we're going to game three. Didn't think we were winning that one, but we are in the third game. Still alive. See the way okay against Seraph? Hmm. Maybe I do need Disdainful Stroke. Counter Seraph or Hostage Taker. Like, what would I have to take out? I kind of like all the cards in my deck. And I, I kind of want Seal Away and Disdainful Stroke. I also don't think I really have room for him. My Angel of Grace is kind of bad against their Angel. That's That's fair. That is certainly fair. I could trim an Angel of Grace. Could also just play Lyra instead of Angel of the Grace. Maybe I just play Lyra. Actually, maybe Lyra's better than Seal Away or just Ample Stroke. Just do that. We saw them have a Lyra the first game. You know, not sure if they still have more Lyras. Go Hinterland Harbor. And then Plains for Incubation Druid. I really want a deck with the best cards of blue, white, green, and black. Teferi, Vivian, Hydro Crisis, Grow Spiral, Thought Erasure, Ascanta. Doesn't sound like Vivian's going to be as good for you if you're just playing like all like so many spells. But I could see it. Hmm. Cannot grow spiral. So we are going to be able to Frilled Mystic next turn, which is kind of nice. I would certainly not mind if my opponent does not play anything here. Dang. Do I want to play Dawnbringer? Do play a bunch of mortifies. Eh, oh well. I don't think holding up Mystic when they know about it is really a good idea because they can just keep on attacking for four and do nothing, and then I I don't go anywhere. There's no incentive for my opponent when they have a four three on the battlefield, and I don't have anything. There's no incentive for my opponent to cast a spell. 
So just sitting back and holding up Frilled Mystic doesn't really do anything for us. So it's an okay Hydroid Crisis. So if my opponent attacks here, I'm blocking, I think, right? And then Deputy cleans up the afterlife tokens. Because next turn we got Deputy plus Frilled Mystic. Man in the Box by Allison Chains. I don't think our opponent's playing Eldritch Reborn. That's certainly not a card I've, I'm considering too much. It's kind of telling me Thief of Sanity. Thief of Sanity is a little rough. I hope not. cast down their own creature? I don't know, they maybe kill mine. Or mortify, I mean. Yeah. Don't do it! No. I'm not very close to being able to double spell here. Ugh. Could have just let them have the, the two one ones. But then they they don't play Thief of Sanity into the Frilled Mystic, you know. It's it's not like I could have held the the Frilled Mystic to counter the Thief of Sanity because my opponent knows about it. Like they're not gonna they're not going to make that trade. I've lost. That out of here. I guess I need to keep the island in hand in case of another bell haunt. So I don't discard to fairy. I haven't done any ranked matches, Hogsin. Yeah, Basilica is a good card. I underrated that card uh, in the early set. It's it is just so good against red, and then just yeah, just like the the discard effects, like we've seen with like even with like Nicol Bolas and stuff, like the the discard effects are are definitely good. I think the big thing here is whether or not I want to double block. Okay, I don't have to really worry about that too much. So they have one card in hand of theirs and one card in hand of mine. All right, I can pass and look for one more mana for Frilled Mystic to protect Teferi. And now I don't have to, you know, like before I didn't want to hold up Frilled Mystic, they knew about it and they were, or they were ahead on the battlefield kind of thing. Now we're like pretty even on the battlefield.
All right, well, that resolved very quickly, so it doesn't look like they have a counter spell here. Unless they have negate. Ugh. Well. Maybe I should have held Fril Frilled Mystic back. What they take from me? They took something over Shalai. Oh, Hydro Traces. Okay. So I was gonna say it's a good card. Whatever they took, it's something over Shalai. So second Crasis. Gone through two Crasis, two Vivian, one to Fairy. Flooding out a little bit here with the last three draw steps being lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. No removal spell, please. Please, no removal spell. Dang. Alright, get a bunch of lands. Grow Spiral, land. So they got a spell. I'll call that one a spell. But I know my responsibility. Man, Thief of Sanity has just annihilated me both of these games. These games I've lost. Alright, oh, oh and one there with Bant Midrange, so one and two. Good games, good close games and everything like that. Uh, our opponents just kind of had some cards that lined up there, you know, like that counter for the Teferi, um, you know, was huge. So we couldn't get Teferi and Vivian. I was think you know we we're thinking that they didn't have a counter, how they didn't counter the Frilled Mystic, but it turned out that their counter was negate. Uh, both their negates, they negated a Vivian and negated a Teferi. Real good. All right, so you, so you think that was Frilled really worth them for not getting the two tokens? So if I don't cast Frilled Mystic there. I know they, they untapped him, were able to play Thief of Sanity with Counterspell. But the thing is, is if I don't Frilled Mystic, they know about the Frilled Mystic, they're not going to just play the Thief of Sanity, so they'll just keep their Counterspell. So they'll just have two, two tokens that are just attacking me. And, you know, they'll just pass the turn. And so I'm just going to start getting hit by the, the two one ones over and over again. And, uh,. You know, I don't really have, like, the mana to double spell or anything. And, like, all I have else in my hand are Planeswalkers, like, at the time. So, like, whenever I do play that Planeswalker, they'll just counter it. And then, like, whenever I tap out for the Planeswalker, they'll counter it. And then they'll just be able to untap and play Thief of Sanity. So I certainly like the Frilled Mystic play of, of getting it out of the hand at the point. So we had a donation here. Cry Cryo, excited to see you give this a whirl. All right, what do we got? Jeskai, Divine Visitation. Jeskai Visitation. Nice. That looks pretty sweet. Here's the deck list. Yeah, that looks really nice. Uh, Mike, what am I playing next week? I don't, 
I don't know what are you, what are you doing next week. Um. Okay, let's see. So what do we have? It's 6:40 right now. I think let's try the bant mid range one more time. We tried Marty control three times, and these have been kind of quick. Let's try it one more time. Link broken. Hey, Xanthos. Link is working? Okay. Ugh. I just like to dress spiffy. That's why I dress spif spiffy. I, I like to. I like um, to present myself like this. Yeah, long time no see. Yeah, everything's going pretty good. I am so excited about my little Mavericks picking up. Uh, Christoph Porzingis. Yeah, Esper Angels needs a little bit of work, but that deck's that deck's pretty good. Hmm. It's kind of the problem with Gross Spiral. Hey, Matthew. Yeah, the, the chance of the Knicks getting KD, um, Kyrie, and drafting Zion, like all that kind of stuff, it's really, really low chance that all that stuff happens. But, it, you know, it can. But, yeah, it's, uh, they're really going all in on, on cap space. I think Cuban's a genius. Oh, that's that's all Donnie Nelson. Donnie Nelson is the... I mean, well, Cuban is really, really smart. But those trades and stuff, Donnie Nelson is is awesome. Yeah, Zion's just playing one year. He'll be... Uh, he's going to be the number one overall pick this year, really looks like. <laughs> no, I won't be in it, Purifier. That would take too much... Uh, too much playing. So, uh, we had to, had to just do, like, best of one basically all day every day for the whole month, and, yeah, I'm not gonna get there. I could certainly see not having Tithe Takers in the list for Esper Angels. Absolutely, I could see not playing those. Um... Yeah, I, I don't think that that's... Uh, necessity. I didn't have two blue, otherwise I would have just held up Frilled Mystic here, but we, we didn't have two blue, so... Yeah, I'm from Texas. Yep, I'm, I'm from Dallas. The Dallas area, at least. The Metroplex. It's no, I I don't think, I think there is like a two one or two percent chance, like something incredibly low that Porzingis will leave after a year. So yeah, I I honestly don't think it's. A lot of people think that he may leave, but I don't think there's a chance that he lives that he leaves. He's real good. He's good friends with Luca with Luca. Um, there's not really a better spot for him to be, and the Mavs can can uh, offer him, you know, max money now. Uh, he can't get more money anywhere else. The gate stuck is pretty good. It has a whole lot of power. I mean, look at how much mana they have compared to us. It's a really big advantage. 
having all that mana. Xanthos! Thanks for resetting there, Xanthos. Sixth sub of the day, down to 30 till our next 12 hour stream. Speaking of 12 hour streams, we're doing one whenever we get to 1500 YouTube subscribers as well. If you miss any of the games, you can find the replays there on YouTube. So you can check out the YouTube there, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. I did give them more mana. So I'm just going to have Frilled Mystics available here. <laughs> Thanks, Cryo. Hey, uh, when when do you want me to play the, the Jeskai Visitation list? Uh, what day and what time slot? You get to choose that. Um, I do have a deck for Saturday right now. I have second. I have a. I'm playing four color gates. This four color gates deck tomorrow. Second. So any other day or time is available. Uh, I I miss teaching a little bit, but. Whoa, Xanthos gifting out thirty subs. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh man. Wow. Well, if you're getting a sub right now, if you're one of these 30 people getting a sub, you need to get some hype in the channel. If you're not, you also need to get some hype in the channel. Everybody, favorite emote. Doesn't matter if you're sub to me or not. Favorite emote. Let's go. Ooh. What am I going with? Let's go with some Todd Knots ears. I'm known for my excellent timing. All this emote hype. There we go. Much more than people think. Dude, Xanthos, thank you so, so much. You're amazing. Alright, so we're going... So now it's 100 till the next one. Uh, that's 36... So how many sub goals is that then? We're gonna we're gonna have to get a lot of pack packs. Yeah, we're getting a twelve hour stream. Um, huh? What day? What day should we do this twelve hour stream? Maybe main deck mass manipulation. Keep up the pace. That's rude. Yeah, so that's six packs. All right, so we're opening up six packs. Let's be honest, I'm not going to win this game. Cryo, thanks for the bits. As well, getting that, cry getting that uh, Xanos hype up in here. So many victories. So many victory sounds. All right, negates, disdainful stroke, uh, binding... I mean, seal away, yeah. Knight of Autumn's good at blowing up Guild Summit. This is going to be just a, a tough matchup, I think, for us for the most part. Let's take out Shalai, Angel. Shalai's good against Mass Manipulation, though. Hmm. All right, you want your deck on the 12-hour? I think I could probably do it. Oh, wait, no. Sunday, Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. So what if I do Monday? Is Monday like a, a national holiday since since Sunday's Super Bowl Sunday? Maybe I do it tomorrow. Maybe I do it tomorrow and then I take Super Bowl Sunday off and watch the Super Bowl. So weekend?
Yeah, because I was wondering if, if people just don't have... They're going to be gates of blazing away this thing. If people, if nobody has work on Monday, if it's just like a national holiday because of the Super Bowl. I'll just cut the gross spirals. Nikki Wonka also getting in. A sub. Gatsby, 1500 bits tomorrow, 12 hours. All right. All right, 12 hour stream tomorrow. There we go, 12 hour stream tomorrow. And then... All right, so we're going 12 hours tomorrow. Uh, keep. I was a geometry teacher in high school. All right, 12 hour stream tomorrow. And with Nikki Wonka getting that Twitch Prime sub in as well. Gets us down to 99 towards the next one. And Fred, at last Friday. It's the weekend. Thanks for that resub, Fred. All right, your deck after 1 p.m. Eastern. Got it. Really want to play Vivian next turn. I think my, my best um, my best chance is I think I want to try to go for Vivian ult. Good good point. Put it in stream challenge. Twelve hour stream tomorrow. No, we don't get to Vivian next turn. And After Wizard gifting a sub as well to Elb Josh. Thanks, After Wizards. Yeah, Gates is certainly a competitive deck. Is it worth trying to run a three color deck without the rare lands? It's it's a whole lot harder. You you still need dual lands. You you have to play like gates. Um, it says ninety eight right now and thirty nine. The numbers it shows here. All right, so they get to draw two cards with guild summit. And there's sub number 40 also. Afterwards, they're giving out another sub. So many gifted subs. Xanthus, real MVP. Afterwizard, also MVP. Thank y'all so much. All right, so that's, that's 97 and 40. So that's another pack. So we're getting seven packs. We are up to seven packs now after this match. Um, I just got to counter, I don't necessarily want to counter that, but I have to counter that to make sure the druid can stay alive so I can play Vivian, because I, you know, I got to play Vivian here, Would you like to see so I needed like the, us? um, druid alive for that.
Yeah, so we, we reached the goal, Matthew. But now, so 97 until the, the next 12 hour stream. So we're doing a 12 hour stream tomorrow. No one knows the wilds like I do. Ooh, Gatsby with that 30 sub hype. I can, uh, I cannot do the, uh, I cannot do a, uh, um, whatever that's called. I can't do a 24 hour stream. I just can't. All right. Still telling me 97 there. Just switch 96. Uh, Thanks, Set. It's very, very kind. What is your favorite rock? Do you have a favorite rock for countertops? <laughs> I do not. I've never thought of what my favorite rock is before. The wilds are my shield. All right, and I am keeping up Frilled Mystic. So Frilled Myst Mystic for Mass Manipulation, um, Seal Away for the Gate Colossus. So that's my plan here. They cannot Mass Manipulation now. So let's counter the Ram. They can still have like a burn spell. I don't think they really play a burn spell there. Hmm. Well, that does kill all my creatures. Now, do I. I was scared of a burn spell to kill Vivian. Or let's see, wait, 90, we're at 95 and 42. Do I tick Vivian up again? No, I just, I just have to ult. It is time. One, two, three, four, five. Mass manipulation is uh, that's the card that I would have wanted to tick up and try to find a Frilled Mystic to be able to protect it. Mass Manipulation here could be kind of bad. But we have Seal Away, so... Spencer says, I love watching your stream. Even couldn't wait to get to the gym today to listen and watch. That's awesome. That's really cool, Spencer. Glad you're here. Alright, fine. Your crisis is bigger than mine. Doesn't mean I'm not attacking, though. Do you think I'm scared? I'm not scared. Alright, they blocked. They called my bluff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, geometry, not geology. That's why you had the, the rock question. Gotcha. <laughs> Is it? Oh, an anonymous gifter gifted out a sub. I missed that. You can draw three, four, five, six, seven, six. You can draw six. So we're at forty-three. So letting them, let, letting them have this because I have the Knight of Autumn. The Colossus I don't really mind too much because of our seal away. 
All right, so we're down a game currently. I got 22 cards left in library. Oh, this is this is gonna be a close game. Gifts for everybody. Three, six, seven, eight. So, uh, I mean, I have to counter stuff like expansion explosion. Basically, explosion's the card I have to counter, so they just get to gain a lot of life with that. Not much I can really do there. But that card. That's the card I have to counter. I don't know if there is a way to, to report people, honestly. Yeah, there has been a lot of updates in the last few days. Uh, they've been, yeah, uh, updating a lot of things. So, yeah, I've had to do, like, a, an update basically every day the last, like, three or four. Oh, yeah, the Gates deck goes way over the top of, like, everything. Of, like, every deck. Or, like, on mid-range decks, yeah. Gates just goes... Stuff like, like, Guild Summit is just completely ridiculous. It just draws so many cards. But that's okay. Doesn't even with this Vivian emblem, I don't I don't know if we're gonna win. So it's kinda likely that we don't win. There you go, there's a link right there. But yeah, yeah, you can just post the link, you're good. Nice, good good draw, good draw. So that's that's a really good draw to to stop like an explosion that that kills us. Cause yeah, we're our plan is to basically to mill them out. Uh twelve hours tomorrow. We're doing the twelve hour stream tomorrow. Um so I'll I'll get on about eleven AM Eastern time tomorrow, so eleven to eleven. And then, and then I think I'll take Sunday off to kind of recoup, recuperate and watch the um, watch the Super Bowl and stuff like that. And then I'll be back for normal time on Monday. Eh, they have like this lava coil that doesn't do anything in their hand. Maybe they just want to cast their lava coil. Like, what else are they going to do with this lava coil ever?
All right. Looks like we're going to mill him out. Got that one. Don't think there's anything that I want to change. Let's bring it back. <laughs> oh, Sports Radio guys there in St. Louis talking about the Super Bowl. Oh man, it, it's all that's got to be all they talk about all the time. Yeah. Deputy is is okay for Hydra. Yes. I mean, yeah, it's, it's good for Hydra. It's not really good against kind of anything else because it's, you know, real vulnerable to Gates Ablaze. Um, it is good against Hydra. So maybe it should just be in the deck just for that. Oh, right. I forgot about that. The... The Rams are in Los Angeles now. They're not in St. Louis. So, yeah, I bet they're kind of going crazy over there. Right. I forgot about that. There's probably every single team are probably trying to... Get some kind of advantage. Alright, slow him down. Slow him down. Yeah, it's tough. Like, one of the teams has to win. But no, I understand that not really wanting either of them to win if, you know, you don't like the team uh, moving. wasn't meant to be contained. All right, at least our mystics are frilled. Uh, built my first standard deck in six years the other day, and so far I barely lost with it. Mono green stompy. Nice. Love it. Getting some foil carny teas. Come to me for it next week. Love it. <laughs> All right, the mystics are really frilled. They're so frilled. <laughs> Another Vivian ult. Opponent can't handle Vivian ults. All right. We got a win and we are getting some packs. Pack time. Ooh, I'm gonna have to use gems. I can't just get all packs with gold. I don't have enough gold, so let's we're gonna have to use some gems. So let's get so we're gonna have to get three packs at a time. I don't need the Ravnica sets for packs, so we're looking at the other four. Um, and I think rivals, rivals and M19 are like two sets that I have like the least of. So let's get three packs of both of those and. One Dominaria. And you know what? Let's do an Exelon too. No, I don't think Esper Control is too, is too strong at all. I think it's like, I think it's okay, but I, I don't think it's, I mean, I think it's, it's fine. I don't think it's just amazing though. All right, can we open a Rivals pack first? It costs 2,000 gold to enter. It's a brand new format. Induced amnesia. Hey, what's up, Colonel? Um, and the rewards are, are really top heavy, so you really want to do well. So we are we are currently at one win. 
which is the most I've gotten in one of these. So hopefully we can get another win. Yeah, we're doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow. Let's put it down here. There you go. There we go. I love Nexus and I think it's amazing on game one, but it falls a lot after sideboarding. What would you suggest for me? Um, what else we got? We got a miscaller. Yeah, it's that's tough finding like a, a good sideboard plan. Um, I've seen a lot of people play Hydroid Crisises in the sideboard. Like maybe you want like four of those. Hey, Mythic Dinosaur, Trapjaw Tyrant, awesome. Um. All right, so now we can open our packs one by one. We'll just kind of go across from the oldest to the newest set. Death Gorge Scavenger, cool. I didn't even know I did. I didn't even realize I didn't have four of those. Awesome. All right, so I got a question here of what is the best game mode to building a collection? Um, the, f the fastest way to build a collection is playing limited, is drafting and sealed, uh, if you like drafting and sealed. If you don't like drafting and sealed, um, honestly, the, the, if you don't like those, that's, that's the fastest way, though. But if you don't like that, then probably just like the best of one uh, 500 gold entry fee one you can kind of play a lot of really quick games and gain gold quite a bit that's the fastest way hey rare wild card dominaria pack best pack the one pack that was dominaria we got the rare wild card all right and final m19 pack sigold sword of valeron yeah you you don't get yeah, they changed the rewards, didn't they? For like the random, for like the cards, you get what? Like three uncommon, three uncommon, three uncommon. Gosh, it's always three uncommon. There's, you finally get a rare after five wins. Two rares, and you still get two rares for these. But probably just grinding these with the 500 gold. You get to play till you have three losses. That's probably the, the fastest way to, to build gold. I don't know. These competitive metagame challenges, if you win, you can get a... You can really... Like, 30 packs is insane. If you can do good in these things. Let's see if we can. We got one win. We're going over towards the second. Dun, dun. Yeah, 12-hour stream tomorrow. We're also doing a 12-hour stream whenever we get... To 1500 YouTube subs. So there's the YouTube link there. Put it, just put it in chat. YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. If you miss any of the streams, you want to see the replays. All the replays are there on YouTube. So you can follow along there. Doesn't cost anything. Alright. I know. I know I'm not doing anything next turn. So. I'll just not pay life in, in case we're playing against an aggro deck where the life really matters. So we'll just play the land war off on turn two. Yeah, this is one loss and you're out. So it is very top heavy. Yeah, actually we are doing a gates deck tomorrow. Um, we had a donation to play gates tomorrow. I'll be playing it... Um, Probably around five. We're doing uh, around. Well, uh, Cryo, did you say you want yours around one or after one? I was thinking like so. I think like around one is um, Jeskai Divine Visitation, and then about three for tomorrow. We're gonna have Esper Angels around 3 o'clock, and then around 5 o'clock uh, after that is going to be um, 
four color gates. So that's that's like those three. A round one? Okay, yeah. So we'll have we'll have another deck before that. So kind of spacing the decks out in two hour intervals. Like we'll have a deck at eleven, one, and so on. So we'll have like six decks. So I certainly want to settle the wreckage. Um, I'm gonna throw Vivian down here first, you just kind of hit a land drop. Nature. I know Vivian's gonna die, but it's it's basically cycle gain seven life. Night Angel sideboard versus mono blue. I, I don't remember exactly what's in the sideboard, honestly. Um, but you just want, you know, you want more removal. So you want like your seal away, baffling in kind of stuff. Okay. How do you sideboard on the Naya deck when you take, when you bring Immortal Sun in, you take the Planeswalkers out? Yes. If... Yeah, if we have, if Balance we have, comes. if I have it, I don't really remember having a deck with Immortal Sun and Planeswalkers, but if that's the case, then yeah, got to do that. I can no longer stand. Hurry. This doesn't really look like a Settle the Wreckage too much. Well, dang. We're down to one. One's not zero. Meet. My newest friend. No time for a break. look a little if I take something like expensive it will look kind of too sketchy you know like the crisis or something it'll look too sketchy if I don't play it I don't have I don't have settle up anymore But I, I feel like that's worth it. They can just sit back with Kumena and... I don't know. Maybe that's not worth it. I have Deputy Detention. They can take out a, a Kumena anyway. Uh, yes, yeah, Steins Gate. That's what we're doing. I guess I should block the 2-3 with that. What? Wow, I did not deserve to win this. Let's skip to the good. Did not deserve to win this one. You can't stop nature. So 
So if they have a counter spell. I could have played, I guess, Deputy Detention's like a safer play. Ugh, oh, this has been a, a weird game. But that should do it. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe not. Who knows? Okay. You wanna come up here? Hey. Hey, boy. Nothing stands before nature. Ow. Keep up the pace. I don't think Song of Freelies is a very good card, honestly. I wouldn't really expect a Song of Freelies fish deck. Oh, my opponent's had a good game. Like after I cast the settle. Oh wow, yeah, they have they still had sixty two cards in the library, good catch. So yeah, they have a ton of cards in their library. Mm -hmm. Alright, so seal away binding and uh, taking out Vivian. Uh, let's bring in Lyra. Also, let me take out Frilled Mystic. Teferi. Um, what else are we doing? Now, opponent doesn't have to have at least one win with the deck. We could be playing against uh, somebody with, uh, that's 0-0. Yeah, you can you can kind of play against anybody. Um, they try to pair up close to record, but they also try to pair you up quickly. So, you know, we're just only one and zero in this league right now, and so they could they could be zero and zero. Yeah, that's that's the only determination is is match win record, but they also try to match uh, in a quick time. You know, so it's not they don't just let you sit in the queue for five minutes while they find somebody with your exact record. Yeah, it looks like our opponent chose to play second here. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's jam into Red Hot Chili Pepper. Uh, I'm I'm petting him on like his his neck, and he's he's liking it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Hawkeye. I'm trying to get. There you go. There you go. More Hawkeye. Yeah, that'd be cool to have a Hawkeye cam, but he's usually moving around a little too much. I should have just played the Sun Petal Grove here. Just so I could activate Incubation Druid if I don't counter, counter anything, which doesn't look like I'm going to counter anything. 
Named him Hawkeye after the Iowa Hawkeyes. Alright. I think... So is, is Krasis the best mythic to craft? I could see... That answer being Krasis or Vivian. I think it's... It's one of those two. Krasis and Vivian. Probably, I'd probably say Vivian, but I'd go with those first before Dovin and Ajani. If those are the four you need. Well, the four they... Harv said he needed uh, Krasis, Vivian, Dovin, and Ajani. One of those. That's a good Merfolk. So Krasis is only five right now, um, but I so I think I'm just gonna activate Incubation Druid, make Incubation Druid a three five, and then uh, go with the Krasis for next turn. That's my plan. Yeah, F and M's usually like around five dollars, five dollars, sometimes ten dollars. Yeah, it's it's set by the store, so different different stores charge different different amounts, but it's usually in that area. To... So I was going to shock in there for the Krasis to make Krasis 8 and draw 4. Alright, Hawkeye, we beat the Merfolk. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't have any extra fish for you. Sorry, Hawkeye. Alright, we got two wins. First time at two wins. So if we win the next one, we get another 500 gold and two packs. So this is worth 500 gold and two packs. And packs are 1,000 gold. Yeah, if we win seven, we are going to be having tons and tons of packs to open up. I already have four of every single rare in Ravnica Allegiance. Um... So it's basically just going to be a lot of gems. Hawkeye's around like 12. It's around there. Yeah, one loss and you're out. And you're done. So you got to go like 7-0. We are currently 2-0 in this run. It's very risky. Watery Grave. Can we get Vivian next turn? No, my Vivian. My Vivian. My Vivian. No, uh, we're, I mean, well, 
I don't know, maybe I'll do this tomorrow also. I'm gonna be playing like different like donation decks and stuff also. I'll do this some tomorrow, but not probably not the whole time. Don't kill my druid. I think it's only for a limited time. I think it's only up for like the weekend. Like I, I don't think it's up anymore come Monday. I think. I don't know about that. I think somebody said. Um, said that. Uh. Yeah, the the sub gifter emote is supposed to just be one. One one sub, you should get the sub gift emote. Xanthos, I guess maybe refresh the stream, maybe? I don't know why you don't have one. So, I think if I just play Krasis, my opponent, um, my opponent kills it and hits me with Thief of Sanity. Nope, huh. That's weird. Yeah, all, all the subs are active. Because they're just gifted today. Santos just gifted out 30 subs today, so... Yeah, we're settling for just one creature, but that Thief of Sanity is such an important creature. This is, you know, we lost to this, we lost this matchup earlier, and Thief of Sanity was a big reason why we lost it earlier. So getting that thing out of there. Yeah, Thief does run away with the game. And I have so many good targets for their Thief. You know, like, their Thief getting, like, Frilled Mystics. So, like, they have Thief of Sanity in play, plus they, like, have Frilled Mystics kind of thing. Yeah, they had Deputy to take out Krasis. Certainly thought uh, Krasis was not going to make it. I have hold that thought. So very glad that I waited on the set all there. Well, thanks, Jonathan. Thank you. Uh, they had the bell haunt. Hey, Could have played around the bell haunt, but they... I don't know, they hadn't had it. I did it. Basically, I did not play you around it, but maybe I'm I should have. Done yet. All right, I really hope Vivian hits a land here. Would you come to me? That's good. I don't really like it being that land. Um, the shock land, you know, because that's that's telling my opponent that something's up that I'm paying to life. Wish it was an untapped land, but still taking it. No, another bell haunt. Uh, they got me. Well, they can't kill either Planeswalker this turn. I, I do get to draw multiple cards here this turn. Never mind. Everything going wrong. Enough. That was the worst two cards for my opponent to have for me. We need to move quickly. There we go. That's a good one. It's deputy their deputies. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Me. 
And now we got counter spell protection. I still need to find something to block these bell haunts a little better. Oh, they're just attacking me? Oh yeah. I was gonna say what are they what are they doing attacking me? Alright, chump block. Land we're off's on chump chump block duty. Face the strange changes. Hmm. I could spiral first. All right, we can play Shalai next turn, which is awesome. Shalai protects all my stuff. Shalai, pretty great. We have, we do have the you mana for Shalai Mystic done. because we get to untap lands. The wilds are my shield. Does probably mean that uh, I'm just gonna let. I guess I'm probably gonna just let Teferi die. The double block here, or like with them double attacking Teferi. We could pump Shalai and block both haunts. Absolutely. Then they get to resolve whatever's in their hand. Um. What's the worst thing they could resolve? Well, like, Deputy... If they have, like, removal spell plus... Like, basically two removal spells. They have to have two removal spells, because they have to have removal for Shalai, and then removal for Deputy. No, they they can't they cannot kill deputy because of Shalai. So they have to have two removal spells. Hmm. If I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the block. I won't have. I wouldn't have the um, the mana if Teferi died. I wouldn't have the mana to activate Shalai the Hold next turn. Thought. Either. No one knows the wilds like I do. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got we got the elves back and we jump blocked with them. All right, Vivian Ultimate next turn. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> love it, love that clip. Maximum hype. That's awesome. Okay, so we got game one. If we have... What did I do last time? I think I took out Settle. I brought in binding. I kind of want the seal away though. Thief of Sanity has been like the card that's been that's been crushing us. Um, and I kind of want disdainful stroke also. And we said 
Lyra is better than Angel. But I, I can't play all of these. I gotta cut four cards. I could just cut the growth spirals. It's gonna really slow us down. Is it, is it gonna slow us down that much? Like maybe, maybe not. Yeah, like we have Elf Incubation Druid. Correct, this is one loss for competitive. Correct. Not cutting to fairy. Only 212 followers on YouTube till the next 12 hour stream. Also. Nice. We're getting there. Yeah, so this is my third Bant Midrange League. So I've played three leagues of the other two. Of this, of both of these. Yeah. All right, Xanthos, have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. Dun, dun. All right, Briggles. So we have double land war off again. Um. So we can have turn three Vivian again. We could have had it last time also, but they had the the thought erasure to take it. Ugh. I was hoping they were gonna thief of sanity and we would play Vivian and kill our thief. That's what I was hoping. So they kept both cards, right? Yeah, last time they discovered and just kept both cards. <laughs> no, it'll be just separate tw days with 12-hour streams. I, I can't do 24 hours. Wow. They got rid of Chapel and Deputy. I love that they got rid of Deputy. That's a, a great card in the matchup, so... Certainly glad that's gone. Like the song, found what I've been looking for. It's our opponent. Has our opponent found what they've been looking for? Well, they kept they kept those two cards on top. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're looking for. But now we are... Uh, we're ahead on the battlefield. We were ahead on the battlefield. <laughs> hmm. Certainly just, so, they're going to have Negator Disdainful Stroke. So I don't think we just play into that. By just, you know, playing a, a Planeswalker into that. I guess they, they're also a Thought Erasure deck, though, so I can't just, like, sit back and hold everything. Because of Thought Erasure. Kind of in a tough spot. Hmm. 
Our opponent saw two settle the wreckages last game, which is certainly a reason why they're not making that attack with the deputy of detention. Yeah, it could be negate or disdainful stroke that they're uh, most likely not bluffing, they most likely have. Gross. Now it's kind of looking like Negate. Oh, dang. Eldest Reborn. Somebody said the last match that I should play around Eldest Reborn. And I didn't think they would have one. And now this match, they do have Eldest Reborn, so I guess that was something I needed to play around. This isn't a fight you can win. I just have another Eldest Reborn? Time for a break. Yeah, I guess they were bluffing. I guess I should have called the bluff earlier or just, you know, played one of my spells into their counter spell. I was behind on the battlefield. I probably should have just played it earlier. When you're behind, you can't really sit back and wait. But all kind of good information for a game three, because we're, we're likely going to a game three. I, I don't expect us to win this. Elder Shaborn get? Oh, Elder Shaborn can get a deputy. I'm not ready for this quite yet. I can't really let them get a deputy and deputy back mine and then get two more deputies and take, like, you know, that one deputy just takes out everything. So now Thief of Sanity can kill Teferi, but if they if they do kill Teferi, they're not hitting me and they don't get an extra card. And then hopefully my Vivian can kill Thief of Sanity after that. The Land War Elves are summoning sick. I can't I couldn't actually cast Vivian that turn. You're saying like shock and then play Vivian. These are these are summoning six, they just enter. So I don't I can't just get them back. You 
just let me know if you're up for round two? So they took something over Ixalan's binding? What are they taking over Ixalan's binding? Yeah, so I... I needed to play my cards out there. Seal away was really bad, but I also didn't use like seal away on like Thief of Sanity, which is where I really want it. I just play negate over seal away. Our opponent just took land war elves with both deputies. That's why it looked like one didn't trigger because they just targeted the land war elves with them. And so whenever the first one resolved, uh, they took both land war elves. And so the second one didn't have a target anymore. And they did not target the Teferi because they didn't want to talk to Teferi in case I destroyed their creatures. Again, they didn't want their Teferi. They didn't want me to get a Teferi back. No thought erasure, please. Okay. Nice. We get to ferry. Next turn. And then even if they, they just go like deputy to ferry, then we get to binding deputy, uh, which is really nice. I could play Vivian also. Vivian or to ferry? First world problems. Let's go to ferry. I am. Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, I can, I can kind of save Vivian for a Thief of Sanity, also. But so they deputy, I binding, they mortify binding. Hurry! All right. Well, they just went Thief of Sanity. We have a whole lot of Vivians. I've lost so much already. I w no one said restoration was painless. This is looking really good for us. I could have shocked there and dealt one damage with Land War Elf, so I could have, I could have paid two life to deal one damage, but don't think we need to do that. They're playing Contempts. Well, dang. Balance comes. I don't have a land, though. I wish I, like, if I had a land, I could, uh... I could have, like, activated Incubation Druid. Um... And then played Shalai. July is a good card to protect Deputy. <laughs> Alright, so they have five cards in hand and we have five cards in hand. So it's like a tie game. They do have one extra land in play, so they're a little ahead there. But then I have three creatures and a Planeswalker. So I guess we're doing okay with that part. No one knows the wilds like I do. They do have more life. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. They're still ahead of us on life and lands, technically. 
I'm liking where we're at. I'm, I'm liking our position. I'm thinking we're about to go 3-0. Get to that three win plateau. Ugh. Or shall I? Do we have lands in our deck? I've seen things that would break someone like you. Uh... Give me that. All right, now we got Frilled Mystic available. I wanted to take the land, of course, but... And I, I don't want to attack with Lyra, because if I do, then they can attack with Seraph at Vivian, and I, I can't block Seraph because of the Death Touch. Keep on like wanting to take a land with Vivian, but there's just been like some other like completely awesome card to take instead. All right. Good job, Planeswalkers. That's what our deck's trying to do. Turn three Vivian, or turn three Teferi. It is very strong. All right, four and two. Overall, but we're 3-0 in this league, so we're already getting three packs after this. Um, and 2,000 gold. So we got our entry fee back of the 2,000 gold. So we got to win it. So if we win another, it's another 500 gold in two packs. And then 500 gold in five packs. And then 1,000 in 10 packs. And then 1,000 in 10 packs. So these. So only one more game of trying to get 500 and two packs. And then it's going to really start going up. Yeah, Lifer. So many gifted subs. Um. Xanthos came in here earlier and gifted 30 subs. And then after Wizard's been in here gifting a lot of subs. I got to 3-0 with the Naya Angels, but Drake's ate me up for the fourth match. Ooh. Well, I'll try to... I'll try to uh, exact revenge here in the 3-0 match. We got the red deck. All right, so they're on a Mold of Five red deck. Mold of Five on the play. Hey, Lifer is getting in on that gifted sub action. Let's get some more hype in the channel for Lifer. Get your favorite emote in there. You got a gifted sub. Throw some hype boats out there. Congratulations. Neoke, Starter, Crystal, Snell Pig, The Ishul, Druin, Pennywise, Malpus, Ray Werewolf. All y'all. That is so kind that is so kind of you. Absolutely. Greatest movie star. Thank you so much. Oh. So that is means we are at 84 to the next one and 53 out of 55. I think I just settle away the, the war boss and the tokens. Oh, it's a very, very generous community. Thank y'all. What was the name of the deck you played last best of three? Um, I, I played uh, an Angels deck the last best of three. <laughs> no, I'm not retiring. 
Two more for another pack. I agree, Lifer. I think we got this. If you're enjoying the stream and would like to help um, support me as a full-time streamer, consider hitting that sub button. You get all, all the 19 emotes. You get your hype votes. There we go. Let's counter that risk factor. Risk factor is a card they can't even cast if I have Shalai on the battlefield. No, still no word on the new emotes. Which now we have another slot. That's that's each one of these hundred we get another slot. So I really need it to get on that. All right, we're going to have the Frilled Mystic protect the Shalai. Okay, after Wizard, I will. I'll let you know. You finally found the counter to Red Deck Wins the world has been looking for. Is it a bunch of angels? Because that's usually pretty good. I think Stream Decker is working. It, It's not like the best server it can certainly take a good amount of time to like load and stuff yeah on yeah the answer to mono red is have them mold a five that's a good answer Okay, we got to get one post sideboard game. That's it, just one. Dawnbringer, Binding, Seal Away, Knight of Autumn. We did lose to Red earlier. So it's not like it's super easy. Yeah, negate's not negate's not bad. Negate's not bad. I kind of like all of these, but it's too many fours. Guess I got to trim some frilled mystics. I do like frilled mystic though. Now I like I like Knight of Autumn's gain for life. And they could be playing Experimental Frenzy. Hawkeye stream. Hawkeye stream. Yeah, that's Vivian. That's Gideon. That's Vivian. He's all excited. Maybe Llanowar Elves is the card I cut against the Chain Whirler deck. Huh. That's a good card. This is a tough... Uh, tough up or down. Mass, you're disappointed in yourself. What's, what are you disappointed about? 
Yeah, and approach said that. Uh, approach said that I should remove the elves because of chain willa. I'm gonna put it on the bottom. We have a good amount of five drops. I think we can probably find a different one. We can find a way to spend mana. Four games, four wins, 30 red spells cast. <laughs> I'm certainly not gonna ban you. I, I like red decks. I'm, I like, actually, yeah, like I, I like red decks. And Hoshino gets us to sub number 54. One more for another pack. Hoshino with the fourth month in a row. Great four months, Todd. Thanks for all the time you put in and the insight. Well, thank you so much, Hoshino. All right, Land War Elves on the draw. Kind of rough. I hope they have a bunch more chain rollers in hand. I hope they have a lot of those. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks, Ashina. All right, here comes the burn spells. Oh, that's a good hand. I need that Angel of Grace now. I was worried about like finding my fifth mana, uh, but after the Frilled Mystic, that's all we've drawn. That was that worked. All right, well that worked. All right, opponent, have those multiple chain rollers in your hand, please. That's all they got are chain rollers. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, yeah, count that. All right. You got me. All right, land war off on the play. Do I want that? Well, maybe not. All right, so if we take out land war off, let's get this gross spiral back in. An extra negate and an extra feral mystic. Is that too slow of a hand? No, I think that's probably fine. I think that's probably fine. Oh, that's only 59. Ha, huh. gotta play another one. And Corpse Girl getting in that Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Corpse. Sub number 55 on the day. We are going to three packs after this. We're already at 83 subs till another 12 hour stream. Ooh. No blue mana. I think I have to mulligan this. Oh, I like this one. I like this one, though. Keeping that. And DJ Polly B gifting out that sub to the hairless bear. Thanks, DJ Polly B. 
Hmm. Do I play the Dru do I shock for a druid this turn? I'm gonna say no. Fifty-six. One of my favorite numbers. Ah, the opponent kept the one lander. It's not working out. Hmm. I think I say no blocks. Well, the cell of the wreckage isn't looking so good. Don't really want to give them more, more lands. Land, please. All right, worth it. Down to nine. Let's bring the dawn. Our opponents had their day, but now the dawn has been brought. <laughs> DJ Folly B with the One Land Man song. Love it. No, opponent kept their seven. You know, they had like all this, they had like one drop and all these burn spells. And they were on the draw. Hawkeye, that's another win. All right, we're 4-0 in this league. Fourth win. That's a bunch of packs. So what do y'all think? Do I should I get Should I get the, the sub packs now or should we wait till after we have this and you know we have all these packs for our sub packs? Or should I go buy three packs right now? What do y'all think? Yeah, I feel like waiting's good, okay? Yeah, lots of people are saying wait. Yeah. Cool. That's looks like everybody says wait. All right. Cool. Yeah. It kind of makes sense. You know, I have finite resources on the account. I don't really want to put more money in. So we're getting all these packs here in a little bit. No, didn't see any light at the stage there. It's gonna be a keep. It's a, you know, it's a little annoying with our mana how we don't get to land we're off on turn one. And even if we, like, grow spiral on turn two right now. You know, so next turn we go harbor, grow spiral. Hopefully it's a green source where we can put in a land war elf. All right, yeah, another red matchup. We've been doing awesome against the red deck, so that's good for us. Could also just play Llanowar Elf, but no, let's let's see if we hit a, a green source. Maybe we draw basic forest. Dang. Well, this could be bad. So the thing the reason why I don't really want to play the elf right here is because of Chain Whirler. So that's why I'm thinking like I don't necessarily want to just play the, the elf. Uh, even though it's kinda better for us mana wise. That's the card I'm worried about.
We got another chain whirler. Yuck. I would like to draw land and settle. Uh, and have settle available, I mean. Uh, I guess I deputy. Oh, no, because, yeah, they just, yeah, they're just going to bolt the, yeah, they just get to bolt it right here. And still get to attack. So I, I should have taken Lava Runner. So then they bolt in response. I was thinking take Chain Whirler so then they bolt on their turn and don't get to attack. But they still get to just attack, so I just took one. We're not out of it yet. Depending on what our opponent has. They have a couple more lands. Land? Yes, yeah, so we could be at 8 right now instead of 7. We'll see how much our opponent respects Settled Wreckage. Like quite a bit. Yeah, deputy was the right play, but I should have just deputied the the two two, so I took one damage that I did, don't need. That risk factor is backbreaking. Well, these land worlds will be things that, that do more uh, after sideboard. Lava coil. Well, this doesn't kill us yet. I honestly don't play best of one at all. So I don't have a, a, a good choice for you there. <clears throat> Alright, come on, land. Come on, land. Dang. <clears throat> if they waited till my turn and I could have Angel of Grace in response, I could have just taken that and not let them draw three. All right. We're gonna we're gonna have to win both sideboard games, which is gonna be a little tougher. But we got a sideboard plan.
this match is worth a ton. I think I think this one's worth five packs. I get yeah, I think this one's worth five hundred gold and five packs. Yeah. This one's five hundred gold, five packs, and then it's a thousand and ten and a thousand and ten. I should call this deck Bant Angels. There's only there's two angels in the main deck and one other angel in the sideboard. Not sure it's really too much of an angel deck. I mean, it's certainly a little bit of an angel deck. Uh, we're going down to six lands. <sighs> yeah, we're keeping. We're gonna certainly need lands. Anything that's not a lands grind to the bottom. That's a land, that's a keep. Don't have a shock, please. I need this incubation druid. <laughs> no, I really needed that card. Next turn, am I playing Crisis for two? And drawing a card? Potentially. I like the, the double... The double two drop for the opponent. So hopefully they don't have another land where they can't cast both of those. Or they can only cast one. It's got to be via Shino Pyromancer, I would expect. And I, I want to counter the Pyromancer, which is why I went ahead and shocked in for that Frilled Mystic. Whoa! What? Can I not counter that? I don't, I don't have anything clicked. What is going on? Oh, I have a planes. I have a planes. That's what's going on. That makes sense. Well then. I thought Hawkeye was like hitting a button on the keyboard or something. I was like, Hawkeye, what are you doing? Yeah, sometimes talking and, and playing is tough. All right, well, I took two that I didn't need to. Could be at 14 here. Stop. Back up to six. And our, our opponents miss some land drops. We know that we know their card in hand is not a land. They have some kind of spell in their hand. Man, it'd be really nice to be at eight instead of six. Right about now. If I just didn't shock. Alright, that's a good card to binding. Kind of surprised they don't attack with Pyromancer there. Kind of surprised. And now we know Knight of Autumn won't be able to die to another Chain Whirler because they can't cast anymore. 
Okay. Land. What's this last card? <laughs> this game is stressful. If our opponent doesn't have anything here, I like our chance though. Like, you know, this is this is their turn. They did not have anything there. I almost clicked that destroy target artifact or enchantment. How bad would that have been? Yeah, I think it would have just destroyed the binding, yeah. All right, let's draw another Krasis. All right, that can resolve. Draw another Krasis or a Lyra or a Shalai. All right, negates a card. Card. Mystics are getting even more frilled. Bleh. I think the best thing our opponent can have is like, what, like risk factor that we have to like counter multiple times. All right, two pair. Yeah, it's certainly possible our opponent has a Chain Whirler they cannot cast. I mean, I could start going for, like, the win of trying to attack with the Krasis and just play just play a Frilled Mystic as, like, a 3-2 blocker. I don't expect Banefire from the opponent. Four three blocker, I guess, could have been an option. Yeah. If they cast a spell end step, I'm going to negate it, so I can have another negate available. They did have Risk Factor, which is like the worst thing for me. Getting rid of a Chain Whirler there. No 4 damage. No 3 cards. Having none of that. You shall not resolve. So they can they can of course firebrand one of these, start attacking in, but you know them dealing two to me dealing four, not a good trade for them, or not a not a good race for them. Okay, you would have just taken the four for the other one and made sure to counter a frenzy. 
Do the red decks play light up the stage and risk factor and then also frenzy? I guess maybe after sideboarding. Hawkeye's covering up part of the screen. I have to look. That's why I keep on like looking over here. Because like where the buttons are over here, he's sitting. He's sitting in front of the buttons. I can see my hand, but I can't see where the where that button is. There's a lot of different versions of the red deck. Some certainly play Frenzy. Okay. That's just game two. We're going to game three. Um, deputy. Don't want deputy on the draw. I'm going to be slower. Or like, you know, like. Yeah, I, th I think I want these deputies on the draw. It's going to take me a little bit longer. Deputy over settle. I don't know. It's like three mana. Eat a burn spell, but then if I I guess if I'm taking like Viachino Pyromancers, they just get to. I just get to re-trigger them. Yeah, I'm getting rid of the deputy. Not going to play it. Okay, so basically all their decks cut Frenzy because all the enchantment hates. So they have like four stage, four risk factor kind of thing. Gosh. Grudgingly keep. Not thrilled about this. We get blue mana. It'll look a lot better. There are so many packs riding on this. Beating red on the draw. It's difficult. Pass turn. Okay. Alright, I like the blue source. I like it. What do you want, Hawkeye? Want me to pet you? Our opponent certainly has to kind of be worried about uh, negate. Which we, you know, we showed them a bunch of negates last, last game. So, like, they may have, like, light up the stage that they didn't really want to play there with us shocking in the blue mana. 
So we may be slowing down our opponent that way. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's the best. What? Rawr, rawr, rawr. Here, you want to chew on a pen? No, don't chew on me. Chew on a pen. You got it. Good job. You killed it. Kill the pen. No creatures for you. Get out of here, creatures. We have some good cards in hand. Alright, so one more mana and I can Frilled Mystic and Shalai. So I can go Shalai with Frilled Mystic Protection. So yeah, let's play Angel of Grace, even though Angel of Grace will probably just die to a... Uh, a burn spell, you know, like, we'll go and block the Chain Whirler. Oh, I could block the... Oh, now I get to block the Lava Runner and at least uh, trade with two things. So I block... If I block Chain Whirler... Then, first strike damage, burn spell. And my angel's dead. Here I can block Lava Runner. Alright, I'd really like the 8th land. You know, I want to play Shalai and have Frilled Mystic protection. I really want this land here. That's a good one. Hawkeye's mm -hmm. staring at the screen, just like me. Signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. Ooh, baby, Hawkeye. We're doing good. Game three, draw three. So I can activate Shalai or cast a Binding. I guess I should just save Binding because the, the Chain Whirler is not going to kill us. I think I just attack with Shalai. And I'm, I'm tagging with Shalai, not, not Krasis, because Shalai is the thing they can target with a burn spell. 
Um, they can't target Krasis. So, like, these things that I have back on defense, they can't deal with. If I attack with Krasis and leave Shalai back, like, maybe they have, like, Fight with Fire for, like, Shalai, and then they get to attack in with the Chain Whirler kind of thing. I don't know. But, uh, so, just making sure that the things that they can, you know, because they can't target us with Burn Spell because of Shalai. So, four, five, six. I still have enough mana to cast Mystic. I mean, they're dead next turn. No real reason to, to rush it. Now, Fire with Fire wouldn't kill us. It could kill the Shalai. No, they can't, they can't target us because of Shalai. You think shocking was right? Alright, we're moving to 5-0. and oh. Is this the new Led Zeppelin song? Basically. All right, so after going one and two in the first two with the mid range, we have recovered. We are five and zero, oh, which means ten packs, ten packs and three thousand gold. All right, what's the next? So the next one is ten more packs and another thousand gold. <laughs> Gosh, this is high pressure games here. All right, let's see if we can win. See if we can get another 10 packs. Yeah, we got the gatekeeper and then the final boss. Hamilton. Uh, sure. We're on the play. Um, can kind of start off fast. If we, if we draw land, you know, this is looking awesome. The entry cost for this mode is 2,000 gold. Oh, don't be mono blue aggro. Don't be mono blue aggro. Nah. It could it'd certainly be, uh, is it Drake's? Is it Drake's is definitely an option here with turn one Terramander. Now it looks like Mono Blue. Hmm. Alright, so we'll go with attention. They cannot spell pierce it. They can't. Yeah, so we're gonna make sure they can't. Yeah, they cannot spell pierce. And I'm gonna just. I'm taking the curious obsession. Dive down it. Come on, dive down it. Dang. Didn't get the dive down. Missed out on a point with the auto tap of the land war off and not the incubation druid. Worst case scenario, another one. Worst case scenario. Hmm. 
Going to just throw out a 2-2 Hydroid Crisis. Land drop, land draw is good. Can play the land war elf too. Uh, yeah, I like quench. I like quench in their deck a whole lot. This is a tough. This is a tough matchup for us. Because we're a deck with a whole lot of expensive spells, they're really good at countering expensive spells. That was a great draw. So now Krasis gets to block Terramander. I'm not blocking Tempest Jin. Yeah, we're doing good now. Hope they don't have uh, the thing that taps the creature. This is just if any creature attacked, you're okay, right? Yeah, it's any creature. Dang it. Yeah, it's going to take them a long time to adapt to this 2-2. They can later. Um, I'm passing turn. Yeah, I'm passing turn. Magnamaniac with that tier one sub for the second month in a row. Thank you so much for that continued support. Glad to have you here, Magnamaniac. Keep on keeping on. Will do. 57. Um, yeah. And Siren Storm Team counter settle the wreckage too. That one's a problem. We're gonna need more mana, so that's my plan here. Why well, I haven't been really doing anything. I need to adapt to this incubation druid. So I was going to have enough to be able to like Teferi and protect it with a counter spell. Sorry, I'm late. Um, so I minus the Storm Tamer. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I couldn't even Mystic there with the auto tap. That's true. I'm just dead to a dive down. Alright, next game. That second Curious Obsession was brutal. Alright, do I even want Ixalan's Binding? Maybe. What cards don't I want? They could have sacrificed Storm Tamer, but then they didn't have lethal if they sacrificed Storm Tamer. Uh, using the dive down, put them at lethal with the other creatures. No, the the flying blockers are really good in this matchup. You know, just just being able to block like the flyers and Shalai protecting Lyra and so on. They're certainly good. Maybe I don't want these frilled mystics. I have negate. Hey Spence. Go like this. Yeah, Yahweh, awesome day. Whoops. Night of Autumn's good. Curious Obsession is like the most troublesome card. And so Night of Autumn killing um, killing Curious Obsession is really good. And Deckroth getting in on that Twitch Prime action as well. Bringing the hype. Welcome to the stream, Deckroth. Thank you so much. So that's, we are at um, 85, it's telling me. Had some, must have had some subs wear off from last month in the last little bit. And 58 on the day. So right now we are three packs behind of opening. Shall I not blocking Jin is certainly a problem. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it changes whenever we have a Lyra out, but um, no, that's, that's, Certainly true. That's not the best for us. Two subs away from 60. Man, it's been... A real long time since we got to 60. I got like 5,000 gems. I'm going to do sealed until I get some unlucky runs and dry out. That's a really good... Uh, that's a good, good option. Good way to uh, build the collection. Deckroth says, I love your streams. Easily the best MTG streamer out there. That's very kind, Deckroth. Glad you're enjoying the streams. Glad you're here. Tomorrow's 12-hour stream uh, for getting uh, to our uh, recent sub-goal today. The Clown Prince. Thanks, Clown Prince. 
Thanks for using that Twitch Prime sub also. Love this armada of hype boats coming in for all of our subs. Showing some love for our new subscribers. Thank you all in chat also for that. That is 59. And we got a donation. Also. Pro Circuits, very kind. Thank you there. It says, so many competitive TCG players are unfriendly and toxic. Be user or a breath of fresh air. Never change, man. I found my new favorite MTG streamer. Take my money. Well, th that's very kind. Y'all are just awesome. Thank you. So many nice people. All right, we are at 84. For that number now. See, this is where Night of Autumn would be so good. No Night of Autumn, though. Parappa! Getting us to that 60. Yeah, our, our model blue opponent has had really good hands. Gotta give it to him for that. You know, one drop into Curious Obsession. I've had that both games, and then protection or other curious possession. Yeah. Sometimes they, they have it. So I can, like, settle on their turn, make them use counter magic on their turn. And then untap and play Shalai. Because, like, right now they just have counter magic available, right? So, like, we just waste, make them waste that mana. So, they have to have, like, double counter spell with this, this mana. The problem with Settle, though, is that Spell Pierce is quite good against it. What's good against Mono Blue is is uh, aggro decks, like getting down on the board early. They don't answer the battlefield very well at all. So that's that's exactly what you want to do against Mono Blue. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I won't have time tonight, J Jack Jr. And especially doing the twelve-hour stream tomorrow. I haven't gotten to Mardu Angels yet. So yeah, no, I won't have time. Hey, Sculpt of Mine. I'm going to try this. Uh, well, we went... Went 5-1. Got a lot of packs. Yeah, we drew too much at the top end. And opponent had one drop curious obsession. Alright, so we went 6 3 overall with Bant mid range. Um, not a bad run. Good run. 3,000 gold, 10 packs. Worth it. Alright, we are uh, opening up four packs right now for we're four packs behind you know, we'll do five let's do five we'll see all right so we're trying to get mythics i already got um i already have all the rares so we're trying to get mythics that's a that's a pretty good that's a pretty good mythic that's a pretty good mythic All right, 20 gems. Those runs cost 40 gems. So if like all these packs are 20 gems or 400. So if all these are 20, it would take 10 packs to to pay for a run.
We're opening some some rares. Ugh. Yeah, like when it's a when it's a rare like that, it just automatically just shows you twenty gems. The mythics are worth four forty gems, but I don't own all the mythics, so there would still be mythics we can open from the set. I don't own all those. Yeah, so you get gems instead of dupli duplicates now. Yeah. All right, we got time for one more run with Mardu Angels. I think that'll be our next one. I guess we should probably finish out the YouTube recording stuff. But yeah, midrange was pretty good. I actually like the deputy detentions. I think they were good. Um, I think I need a little bit more against... I mean, I guess I need a little more against Mono Blue. It's, that's kind of a tough matchup. Um, yeah, it's a pretty... Mono Blue is a pretty tough matchup. Need a little bit more there. I'm still not sold on the Grow Spiral. Honestly, this this maybe should just be an Incubation Druid. Or what? We already got Incubation Druid. Sorry, Druid of the Cowl. Um... But I don't know. It was it was fine. Druid of the Cowl is pretty. I don't like how Druid only adds green, just like Land or Elf. There were certainly times that Grow Spiral was actually pretty good. I don't know. I like it. All right, but that's it. So if you're watching this on YouTube later, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Um, we, uh, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.